Yo, what's good, family? Shout out to my doggy funders productions for coming through and keeping your man the YB coin. Just like the ep, aeroplane, seatbelt sign, boosted at all times, 100%. Now, on to today's topic. So, as you've seen by the title, this one's a bit of a Pikachu one for this Donny here called Mr. Johnston. Yeah, you can see... The nervousness, the jittiness in man of man's eyes, yeah. He what we call super duper 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 scary ass eyes, yeah. Super duper 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 jitty have an ass Donny. Yeah, that's his cat here, Johnston. Anthony Johnst, you were. Oh, why be? His name's Anthony. All right, if you was, it's not, listen, if his name ain't Johnston, it's Johnst, you were instead. No, I got, listen, I got no problem adding the UA on the end. No problem at all, Johnst, you were have an ass. Anyway, listen, yeah, you see the picture. This is a leaked interview. You man ain't got this one. You ain't heard this one. Essentially, you can see AJ's face right here. Derek Chisora aired him out. Aired him out, yeah? And told him, listen, my man. Listen, my doggy, yeah? Listen, you big bulbous weightlifting have an ass. He said, listen, you see what I just did against Bumlev? Yeah, Kerbrat Bumlev. I went in there, old. I was gassed, and that's what I write about Chizora, you know, because there's an old saying, an old boxing cliche, or an old sporting cliche. Cardio makes mice out of men. And it's true, anyone who's done any level of sport, yeah, when you start getting tired, there's nothing more, nothing will make you feel weaker. Yeah? I'll tell a lie. There's only one more thing, there's only one thing in the universe, yeah, that can make a man's knees weaker than having no cardio. Yeah, and that's if you've got Fernando in your back all night. That's if, that's if you've had Fernando all up in your back during fight camp. That will have your knees weak, number one. But secondarily, what will have your knees weak is if you ain't got no cardio. Now, as I was about to say, what I rate about Chisora and how Chisora in this interview exposed Johnston. He said, listen, Johnston, yeah? Having no cardio ain't no excuse. I was gassed after the second round. Go back and watch the fight, people. Go back and watch Chizora versus Pulev. He was blowing. He was blowing after the second, third round. He looked, honestly, he looked as good as finished from the third round. And still, he number one, I mean, these are high-level skills. These are skills that are high-level in the best of times. Never mind when you got no cardio. Derek Chizora's head didn't start moving. Now, to be fair... As I've said in my video yesterday, Pulev ain't the quickest, he ain't the youngest. So I'm not sure if that kind of head movement was going to work against someone young buck, but listen, let's take it for what it is. Chisora, yeah, was old and out of gas for nine rounds, and he still was probably one of the best heavyweight defences we've seen in decades. Name me a guy who you've seen who's slippery, more slippery. Maybe Tyson Fury, but outside of that, no one. No one, he Really, Pulev couldn't touch Chizora tonight. And that was with Chizora with no cardio. Yeah? Like I said, Chizora go in there, out of gas, and still found a way to win. And refused to lose. And I'm not saying, is Chizora the guy who I'd use as a glaring example of professionalism? No. But when it when that bell goes, yeah? Yes, Chizora, in my opinion, is sloppy and, and undedicated to the sport in general. But when that bell goes, ding-a-ling-a-ling... He on this thing. I told you, man, yesterday. In my opinion, in terms of heart and greatness, Chizora is a top ticket, top five all time in terms of heavyweight, just grit. Now, he doesn't have the other things like the attributes and the discipline outside of the ring, but when that bell goes, you can't. Very few people can actually compete with him on an all-time great level for just digging in deep. Yeah? He dug in deep tonight and, and he consistently does that but tonight in particular and it's in, i love the fact this has happened before the aj fight because i don't want to hear no excuses from team aj if this 38 year old man who ain't got no cardio can get in there moshabash with pulev and i'm not being funny but in my opinion pulev and Usyk are the same kind of cats no nope, not not massive power pity patty shots Wait there, what is it, Chizora? And I told you, man, yesterday as well. Chizora beat, or sorry, Chizora lost to Usyk much better than AJ did. That's a fact. That fight was 50-50. Usyk looked shook through the whole, most of the fight as well. That's the God's honest truth. Go back and watch it. Usyk looked like a drowned rat in that Chizora fight. He just did. And Chizora, for the first time, really, I saw Chizora backing off. 
which was suspect. But anyway, again, AJ has all the attributes apart from a big thumping heart. And we haven't, I was speaking to some Don the other day, and he was right. 2017 was the last time we saw AJ really get on it and say, you know what, let's dig it now. It was the last time against Vlad, against 50, 50 year old Vlad. So I'm sorry, that don't count for nothing. Digging deep against Vlad, 50 year old, don't count. I want to see you dig in against Mr. Blobby. I want to see you dig in against Mr. Jusic. Yeah? Hmm? Well, what are you saying? Oh, I've, I've only got balls when the guy's half old and half cooked anyway, like Vlad or like Pulev. Come on, and even Pulev. Even Pulev. You didn't dig in. Chizora dug in more than you did. AJ had a good round three and then took seven rounds off. It's like, what the fuck? Whatever you say about Chizora, he really didn't take no rounds off. Didn't take no rounds off. He was in there. And even when he was down on his luck against the ropes, that was arguably when he was most dangerous. Not being funny, we've seen AJ on the ropes a few times against Ruiz, against Usyk. He's a victim. He's like, oh, you see his guard like this. Oh, doing all these weird guard things. What kind of defense is that? Get your elbows in, get your chin down, tighten it up, tighten up, and get and look for the count. That's what you should be doing off the ropes if you're going to go there. And to be honest with you, God's on His truth. You shouldn't even be on the ropes. You big nick, yeah, big bulbous nick. What? The- What's a big bulbous nick doing on the ropes with a Donny half your size? That's what you really want to talk about. About on the ropes. Yeah? I don't want to see you on the ropes. I want to see you in there. And go back and watch Canelo versus Golovkin 2. Canelo actively said, I ain't going back this fight. And I told you, man, before. If I was training AJ, that would be, f- be what it was. This camp, we ain't go- this fight, we ain't going back. We're just not. We're just not taking a step back. We're just not. We're going forward or we're standing still with tight defense. That's all we're doing. We ain't going back. Simple as that. Yeah, the only way we're going back is if, literally if we're on our back because Usyk's blown it out and we're flat out. That's the only way we're going backwards is if if, is if Usyk clips me and I end up on my back. Yeah, that's it. I ain't trying to hear nothing else. I'm just not trying to hear it. And Chizora tonight or last night proved exposed and in the interview with AJ, and rightfully so, Chizora told him, listen, AJ, you ain't got no excuse, yeah? We ain't, ain't no one trying to say anything else. If Chizora, 38-year-old, who was outmatched, he just was outmatched. Pulev was the better guy last night in that sense. Pulev was, he just had, he had much more finesse. But Chizora had that bottom line grit. Yeah? So if AJ's been training for a year, you must have a full gang of tank of gas. That's the first thing. So you already got a one up on Chizora there. All you need to, and I guess it's easy for me to say all you need to do, but don't forget, people. I've already told you, man. I believe AJ should retire. So I'm going on the basis that, oh, you want to do this? You're signing up for this. You're signing up to take a hundred mil of the fans' cash. So if you're gonna sign up to take a, I don't want to hear about ah oh, YB. Oh. I don't want to hear that. What? Yeah. If you don't, no one's like oh, YB. You always want rock 'em sock 'em. Oh, YB. You want too much from AJ. Listen. I, I, told, I think you retire, yeah? He's got the options to retire. So don't tell me you're signing up to take the fans' money and waste the fans' time. And in doing so, you have entered a contract that says you want to be all in. Otherwise, what are we doing here? Otherwise, what you're saying is, oh, well, I want 100 mil, but I don't really want to do nothing for it. That's what, bottom line, if AJ goes in there and tries to play tip-tap-toe after seeing what Chizora's done and after hearing what Chizora said, yeah, that just proves AJ is throwing it, basically saying, you know what, you guys, I don't give a F what, mate, I don't give a F about the sport. All I care about is getting coin and not doing a lot. That's what it means. Because for that amount of money, or forget the money, the fact you've signed up for this, when you don't need to, you can sit down somewhere, take the YB's advice, go sit down somewhere and live in where you and Fernando can do all the zesty things you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Go, go wild. But since you signed up for this, there's a bare minimum level of expectation and you have not been achieving that in the last five fights AJ has not been satisfying the bare minimum level of commitment and that AJ versus Ruiz 2 rematch is exactly what I'm talking about that was that was below the bare minimum standards yeah I've spoken to casuals and they all tell me why be what AJ went in there and Mr Blobby got embarrassed and then went in there and ran around no nothing to do with I'm telling you this casuals yet have literally told me that Hey, what's AJ about? Where's his pride? Where's his shame? You got your head pushed in 
and the guy wasn't even training for the rematch, and you went in there and you shit your pants again. Like, what's that about? How can you be so big and barbarous? And but no, I mean, that add up. How can you be that big and buff? But then Mr. Blobby, who ain't even training, got you all scary looking, got you all jitty, dancing around the place like a twinkle toes. This is not right. And the fact that a casual says that means it's got nothing to do with me. That's just what people, are, that's what the masses are thinking. And the masses are right on this one. Yeah? If you don't like it, if you don't want to get stuck in, if you don't want to get gritty, sit down somewhere. You've signed up for this the same way Chisora did. And that's what I rate about Chisora. Even though Chisora, in my opinion, needs to sort his training out. I'd rather take Chisora, to be honest. At least he will pretty much give it all when he's in there. You, in the gym all the time. Run out of gas anyway. I mean, how are you going to be in the gym all the time and run out of gas anyway? And then even then, you ain't trying to dig in. Yeah? He just ain't. Even when... I mean, even when... That's the crazy thing. Even when AJ isn't out of gas, he ain't trying to dig in. At the start of the Usyk fight, he got hit once and, oh, I don't really want to know now. Chisora was getting hit by Pulev from the jump. He want more. He keep coming back for more. He keep fighting. Even though he was completely exhausted, he keep fighting on. That's what we expect in this fight. We just do, I'm sorry. The amount of money you're making, that's where the minimum lies. If AJ was making 10, 20 grand, even then, but you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to... I wouldn't be talking about it because who cares? But do you know what I'm saying? If you're going to be on this big stage, taking this big money, we expect big performances. We expect big commitment. We expect big balls. We expect big digging in. Because you're getting your big money, ain't you? And that's why I think it's a travesty this guy's even making this money. Because at the moment, he's making a mockery of the sport. I get paid 100 million and just turn up and just play tip tap toe. Big ball of us. And that's what I don't get as well. It's one thing when Fury was doing it. Fury. Long, lanky, it's almost acceptable. Well, he wants to box. Look at his body design. He's designed to, to flutter around. Yeah, he's an aerobic machine. It, you know what I mean? It was, it was annoying, but you could justify it, couldn't you? Yeah, well, Fury's horses for courses. Fury's aerobic. Yeah, Fury's a long, longer long. You, Mr. Big Thick Mike Tyson, six foot six, have an ass. What's your excuse? You ain't got one. I'll tell you what your excuse is. You ain't got one. Sit down somewhere if you can't do it. If you can't muster up the balls to commit, sit down somewhere. And that's what I hate about this society today, man. Yeah, that's why I hate this capitalistic society. You can call it what you want. I don't like it. I don't like the fact today, yeah, you've got a whole bunch of people bringing squat to the world, really, and getting paid a ridiculous amount of money for it. It's just wild. There's no way AJ has delivered the hundreds of millions of value he's making. This is the, I'm sorry, this isn't. He does not. He's just not. Yeah? You get embarrassed by Ruiz and then run around in the rematch. That is... And then you go in there with Pulev and put a good round in and then run around. Oh, nah, man. I'm done with this guy, man. Done with this guy. That said, if he redeemed himself, fair play. But don't... Let's get, you know what? Let's get something straight now. I don't want it. If he does redeem himself, please, people, don't come at me and say, why be? You need an apology. No. That's what you're supposed to do for 100 million bucks. Don't ever forget that, people, yeah? He ain't doing us a favour. He's doing what he signed up to do. That's the bare bones minimum. Back in the day, back in the 70s and 80s, it was expected you turn up and put what you got, put all your chips in. That's a, that was a that, that came without saying. People didn't need to be told that. Yes, there were people who rolled over, but they weren't the top ones, was they? AJ's supposed to be at the very top. No, there's, there's something wrong when you're at the very top and all you want to do every time is win easy. Yeah? Anyway. Salute to, Ch salute to Chisora. Salute to Chisora. Airing AJ out. Salute to Chisora. Educating AJ on what it is to be a warrior. Yeah? AJ needs to sit down somewhere and watch how Chisora does it. Because he was... He looked... Honestly, Chisora looked broken from the rip and still... He kept warrioring on. Warrioring on. Yeah? Refuse to lose. Refuse to say no. He don't care if he gets popped in the mouth. That's what you... That's what people... That's what you... If you don't... Go play tennis. Yeah? Honestly. Hey, Jay, play tennis. If you don't want to get... That's what I don't get. Oh, go play tennis. Play tennis. Play golf. Yeah? That's what you should do. Go sit down somewhere. Play some golf. But you're signing up for this. You're taking the big money. 
you best deliver big results. Yeah? And that's the end of that. Salute to Chizora. AJ, as I've said, needs to sit down and properly just look at that's what it is to be a top level boxer, people. Yeah? At this level, if you want to be champion, that's what it's going to take. And I've been saying for a long time, AJ was never going to beat Fury doing... Oh, I tell you a lie. I, at one point, I was gassed. At one point, I said AJ would outbox Fury. But even when I said that, I still said it was a 50-50 fight. Yeah? That's obviously completely wrong. Hands in the air. Yeah, but the point is, even back then, I was saying, AJ... You know, AJ was never going... This whole strategy of his ass flapping was never going to get him to the pinnacle. He was never going to do anything with Fury with his current style. It's not going to work. Yeah? Fury will box circles around AJ. That's just what it is, people. We've seen that now. I mean, a little, a little midget on Usyk box circles around him. The only way AJ can have any legacy in this game, and to be honest, half of his legacy is shot to bits anyway. It just is now. Yeah, you can't be, oh, why be? He's only losing because he's fighting the best. No, he's losing every time he fights someone his own age. AJ's career has been built whatever, whatever way you want to like it. AJ's career has been built on 40-year-old men. Yeah, that's just what point people, Povetkin, Vlad, Pulev, old, old and slow. All the young ones, Ruiz, Usyk, he loses emphatically. Yeah, and or... Has a rematch and shits his pants. Which is for me. It's, it's a good. Really it's as good as losing. AJ really could have lost that Ruiz rematch on points. That was. It, God's honest truth. That was a draw. AJ versus Ruiz true in my book was a draw. Yeah. Because AJ ran around. I mean. Right there. You sick popped your cherry. And what did you. I mean. Um, Ruiz popped your cherry. And what did you do in return? Look at Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis got beat yeah. And he wanted his pound of flesh back. He didn't say oh. Oh, let me just try and nick a farm points. No, he says, you know what? You pop my cherry. You're gonna get it. That's what. That's how real men are. That's how. I'm sorry, but that's how it just used to be. People weren't just trying to be friends. I get the feeling AJ just wants to be everyone's friend. I think that's what it's almost like. He's not involved in boxing. He's involved in friending. Yeah. His main concern is how can I get this man to be my, to be my best friend. Yeah. He's not interested in. How can I smoke this guy's pack? How can I roll up this Don's pack and smoke the whole lot of it? Yeah, smoke the whole blunt. Sm he, yeah, he ain't thinking about how can I roll up the Usyk pack and smoke the whole Usyk blunt. He ain't, he ain't thinking about that. He thinking about, ooh, yeah, that Usyk pack be nice. I wonder how I can be friends with it. What? Be friends with a pack? Yeah, anyway, man, get this guy out of here, man. I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm just saying, he. I pray for his sake on August 20th, he digs in. I ain't even bothered if he wins or not. If AJ goes, listen, if, but we don't know how Yus we don't know how good Yusik is. If AJ goes in there, yeah, his defense is tight. He don't take a back step. He's winging heavy shots. And I don't even care if his defense is tight. Look at look at Jizora. Jizora's defense was a bit leaky at points. I don't even care about that. Yeah, if you have to go in there and you're so knackered, your hands are by your waist, and you're just winging away, that's what you do. Yeah, that's what you do, hundred percent. Yeah. And if he does that and Usyk's so slick and he can take all the shots and whatever else, so be it. You got beat by the better man, what can you say? Because you ain't going to win the other way anyway. Yeah? No doubt. 